so what's going on there everybody in YouTube land? I gotta welcome y'all right to the game room. I am Professor Joe Casey. Uh, you know, the Amazon books is in the links. Man, hey man, y'all check out these books, man. If y'all wanna support the channel, you know, pick up the books, uh, leave a rating, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, help Professor Joe Casey become a New York Times bestseller. I believe in my heart I can do it, but I can't do it without the help of the free game and the YouTube land participants so when y'all go ahead and do that for your boy man do your boy that solid support the channel man so we keep these videos coming and they can get bigger and grounder but what i want to talk about today and also yeah uh, add me on facebook <laughs> my facebook is dry as hell add me on facebook uh but what i want to talk about today is um i i seen that meta took away support for the meta one yesterday and it, it, it kind of bothered me, cause I'm, I'm it, it kind of bothered me, man. Like I'm seeing the 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 that price hike on the Meta Two really bothered me, cause that shit went up an extra, it went up a whole hundred dollars. But the fact that the Meta Three isn't out yet, and they're taking away, this could have waited three four months. This could have waited. So now it, it got me really looking. I'm looking at these people cry. I'm, I'm kind of looking at them like, you know, like, man, it, it's kind of like, y'all doing it. I don't even think PlayStation will do it this bad. I don't even think PlayStation. The people who bought the Metal One is the foundation of your company, bro. That's how I'm looking at it. Wouldn't be no Metal Two if the Metal One wouldn't have been amazing, amazingly successful. Now, I understand that the shit getting outdated and, you, you know, you might have to move away from it after a while, but at least wait until the third one is out. The third one, it ain't like the third one coming out in two years. The third one is coming out in literally a few months. Little, they saying it's going to come out mid-2023, around June, and all that good stuff, though. So, they couldn't wait five months. Like, these people, they can't even, they can't join no parties. They are losing access to things that the metal one could previously do. So I can understand you saying, okay, we're not going to uh, put out no games that have to run on the metal one that's going to stop the, 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 the Quest 2 from running. Okay, we're not going to let the, the Quest 1 hold back the Quest 2 from what the Quest 2 can do and what the Quest 3 can do. I can understand that. But when you start taking away things that it already did, you start taking away the social aspect of the, the, the quest was that's why most people majority of the people bought that thing not for not for gaming. I didn't buy it for gaming. I bought it because it was a social platform and then you know I, I got turned on to the gaming part of it because I was like, okay, the gaming is pretty nice. Even with these mobile processors, like the downscaling that these developers was able to do and make run on this thing is, is pretty awesome. So I kind of rent into the gaming part of it, but shit, I was happy with my PSVR and I was going to get the PSVR too. But the meta, like they, they are literally crapping on the foundation of the people who started, got them where they at today. And it's crazy because it's like, we want you guys, we're going to cut off your Crest 1. We want you guys to buy a Crest 2 so you guys can still do the things that you were accustomed to doing when you had your Crest 1. And then in a couple of months from after that, we're going to we're going to get you guys on the Crest 3. <laughs> we're going to we're going to come out with something more with more even more powerful, more better, more greater. So it's like not only are you trying to two for one somebody, it's like they trying to three for one people. All right, we want you guys to spend $400 now to get the Crest 2 and then we're going to make you guys buy the Crest 3. And that's man, that that got me looking at this company like I'm, I don't even know if I want to get the damn Quest Three. You can't do that to your core foundation. You're not gonna lose no money holding out three, four months before you pull the plug on this thing. If anything, people are gonna respect you. Like I need to see the same outrage for the damn PS3 store closing. That you know that shit need to be. That's what people need to be doing for Facebook cutting support for the metal one. That makes no sense, man. <laughs> that makes no sense. Like when, when I heard that story, I was like, damn, man, that, that's crazy. I like they ain't gonna do it that janky. Like right now, just cut that shit, and then now you gonna what? You gonna force somebody to buy the Crest too? And then instead of just saying, okay, we gonna cut it, 
But when we cut it, we're going to make sure you guys got two options to pick for. You can get the two or you can get the three. Nah, they ain't have enough decency to do it like that. They say we're going to cut it <laughs> half a year before the three come out. So now you guys got to choose. Do you want to keep playing the way that you like to play? You want to keep socializing with your friends the way you like to socialize? Okay, go pick up this Quest 2 that we just raised 100 extra dollars. Go pick up the Quest 2. And if you want the latest and the greatest, and you don't want this happening to you in another two years, what happened to you with the one, then you might want to go get the three. Because <laughs> in another two years, guess what they're going to do to the Quest 2 users? Oh, it's the Crest 4 app. So, you know, you assholes, y'all want to get the 3? Or uh, y'all want to wait 5, 6 months to get the 4? But this Crest 2, we about to put a plug on this shit. It's outdated. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I, I see a lot of... They they try to market themselves. And this thing about Crest, that's that's funny to me, man. Because I own, I own 3 of these Crest 2s, right? They try to market. They try to market it as an affordable headset. But once you just buy the basics, like you are gonna need an elite strap. That that crest that crest two strap is, is ass. It's horrible. You are gonna need an elite strap. Uh, you might need some 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 grips. You are gonna need a face a face thing because the face plate is horrible. Like once you just buy like the 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 four five accessories that you need to actually make this shit functional. Cause you're gonna need a, not only you gonna need a lead strap, you're gonna need a lead strap with a battery pack on the bike, so you can balance out the weight of the head strap. So once you buy like the four or five things to make this thing halfway usable, you done already spent like six hundred dollars on one headset, and that's before you even start buying the software. So it's really not an affordable headset. You know what I mean? If you want to have a shitty experience with it, you might can get away with spending three fifty and just playing free apps. <laughs> But it's not really affordable. This shit is very expensive. When people bought them expensive ass Crest ones, they set the foundation for the company. And this is how they get this how this how Crest pay them back. This is how they get paid back. This is why I don't I don't really don't like being an early adopter. I'm gonna do it with the PSVR 2, but I'm kinda worried about the PSVR 2 too, because a lot of their games are Crest ports. And I'm telling you, man. PlayStation is gonna sit back. They yeah, they put out the um, they put that what's the name out that uh, Call of the Mountain, and that Call of the Mountain really, I don't think Sony really put a lot of money behind it, man. Anytime I see a VR game and it's floating hands, I just feel like damn, this shit like last generation. I don't care how beautiful you make the background, you can make the background gorgeous just based off the power of the system. My thing is how much work went into the actual gameplay. I don't care about the visuals, man. Like, like, everybody get caught up in the visuals. How am I going to feel when I'm playing this game? Because when I'm in VR, the vi man, like, I could be playing some Roblox type shit. I could be in Rec Room in VR. And if somebody made a pretty good game, I'm going to have an enjoyable experience. So I don't really get too caught up in the visuals when we talk of VR. So you can't, you can't fool me with the visual game. Like, I like the visuals. I appreciate the visuals of Resident Evil. Uh, seven, but it was the gameplay that made that game for me. The gameplay was goddamn terrifying. It, the gameplay was so terrifying, like I really didn't even notice the visuals like that though. I was just so caught up in the gameplay. So that, that's how I'm gonna feel about this village too. Now the village got the motion control, like this village gonna be straight, man. But how Crest doing people, man, I, I ain't really too much feeling that. You don't do that to the people who supported you from the ground up, man. That's worse than some... I don't, I don't even think Facebook ever did no shit like that. Even though Facebook was getting ready to close the PS3 store, <laughs> you know. How long that store been open? That store been open. It wasn't over four years, and they said, okay, we're going to close it. What Facebook did, what, what, what PlayStation did that I didn't like? They cut the support for the Vita. I didn't like that. They they, they chopped the head off the Vita. So, <laughs> But hell, it, it wasn't like... It wasn't like, okay, buy the Vita 2 and we finna cut this Vita off. So and you gotta wait for the Vita 3. At least they didn't do it like that. So it is what it is, man. But I'm looking at I'm looking at Facebook practices and I'm seeing a lot of shady shit going on. I'm seeing they, they buying a lot of exclusives. They done already messed up Resident Evil 4, which I'm not too appreciative of. So that's why, you know, um I'm glad I, I bought a metal 
this this song, well, I'm really not glad I bought a metal. This what's the name? This song, uh, this Christmas, uh, extra metal for the household that we got Resident Evil Four on that I was able to play. Great game, but because if I would have bought a metal last year, it would have been three hundred dollars, and so it's still even now. And like I didn't even save getting the metal with the free Resident Evil because the shit was supposed to be two ninety nine anyway. So only thing they really did was just throw in Resident Evil along with the price hike. So it is what it is. And like I say, man, this is another reason why I say PlayStation is not getting the full remake. Resident Evil is getting is Meta's giving that shit away as a bundle. I'm telling you, I think they own the rights to the Resident Evil VR remake. They probably went they probably put that shit in motion five, six years ago before Capcom even thought about making a Resident Evil remake on on Sony. They probably beat Sony to the punch on that. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what I think. And Facebook, they got the money for that. Facebook got the money for that. I don't know. It, you know, we might get we might get a full VR version on the PS4, but I wouldn't hold my breath for that. But that's all I want to say, man. That's just my little gripe on what Meta doing, man, to the Crest One users. I think that shit is trash. Meta is trash for that, bro. I don't, like they trash for that, bro. They could at least let them people wait until the six, came, the three came out, and then don't don't touch nothing. Like, I know some people are like, oh, well, you can still play your games you got. No, man, don't touch shit on what I bought until you gave me you give me a sufficient way to upgrade. And don't have me, don't say I can upgrade to something that's going to be outdated in six goddamn months. Because in six months, the Quest 3 going to be out. When the Quest 3 come out, guess what that means for the Quest 2? That means it's outdated. Same thing people were saying about the Quest 1 when the Quest 2 came out. Okay, the Quest 1 is outdated. But at least it was still functional. And now they're taking away the functionality. And this is only the beginning. This is what they're taking away now. They're taking away the social aspects where you can't start, you can't join group chats and all that shit, though. Once that Crest 3 get out and get full rolling, that shit is going to be an app. Only thing you're going to be able to do on that Crest 1, you might be able to browse the internet and play the apps that you brought. But all the other shit is going to get left in the dust, which I ain't even mad at that. Well, don't do it until the Crest 3 came out. That's all I'm saying. Especially if it's only a couple of months that you got to wait for that. I find the timing of this very, very funny. I find the timing of the price hike on the Crest 2 very funny. And it's just like, it, look, it looking like they just trying to grab everybody money. And they pulling the rug from other people and saying, see, I got you. You thought we was a cheap headset. But man, we one of the most expensive ass headsets out here. And they tested the water with that Crest Pro. They put out a $1,500 headset, right? And now it's supposed to be another headset coming out. In 2023, that's supposed to be more powerful than the $1,500 headset. That's one third of the price, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta look at this shit, man. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> so you just charge me $1,500 for this, but this finna come out, and this more powerful, but this this one third of the price. I can't make this stuff make sense, man. I can't. But it is what it is, man. Hey, let me get out of here, man. Y'all be cool on your stool. Understand that cooking with two peas in a the pot, they ain't cooking in the stove, ain't hot. I'm go case.